houses. We still, you know, we can do so many other things besides just fighting. I tell people, you know, I'm a great guy. You know what I mean? In person, in the ring, I'm just Peace. a man that can whoop your ass as well. You know what I mean? It's that transformation. And that's just what it's all about. You know, so I'm, I'm always happy to see, you know, fighters do other things than besides boxing. I agree. C. Crown, Saul Canelo Alvarez, and the Silly Lomachenko franchise champion. Mm. What do you have to say about that? And you want the second longest reigning WBC champion of this era right now? I mean, if, if Canelo accepts it, you know what I mean, and, and he's happy with it, then congratulations. You know, that's, that's really all I can say about it. Many people ask me about the franchise belt or whatever. I don't, I don't know much about it. I don't, I don't I'm, I, you know. Is what I'm hearing that allows you to stay a champion. You don't have to fight mandatories and stuff like that. And if that's the case, then I'm not interested in that. Yeah, I want the mandatory. That's what makes the sport. Guys, guys work hold them to this. Hold them to this. 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 Come, no, 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 number two, and then become a mandatory. Mandatory. Why would you crown someone that eliminates all that? You Shout don't have mandatories and different things like that. I love to be able to have a mandatory. Him sitting, and the more he wait, the more he get frustrated about certain things, and he and. Then, like Dylan White. <laughs> He's being honest. Respect to that. When the fight comes, you, you had me waiting all this time already. You know, it's the, always the build up to the to the fight. And when you take that away, when you take certain things away from boxing, you know what I mean? You take the charisma away from it. You take the excitement away from it. And that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to take the excitement away from anyone. You know, I'm a dangerous fighter. I have, you know, a devastating right hand, and you know, that's all I've been doing throughout my career, giving people, the fans, what they want to see, and that's knockouts. It's good to see guys going there and, you know, go from one round to twelve rounds, boxing and showing skill. But at the end of the day, people got something to do, and they want to see knockouts. And, you know, they want something to say, "Damn, that was a great fight," and that's what I give people. You know, um, so hopefully, you know, nothing come my way about a franchise belt. You know, I don't have. Nothing against guys that have taken it and stuff. I'm just listening to the fans, and I'm, I'm listening to my heart as well, too. I don't think being a franchise champion would fit me. If they want to, you know, if they want to get someone else that belt over me, then I'm fine with that. The words of Deontay Wilder. Peace and pugilism. Welcome to another segment of Boxing Logics United. I am Myron Magnus. Pugilist fanatics, I've been... I admit, been highly critical of Deontay Wilder in the past. Um, have even stepped over the line and said some things that um, was exactly what they were, over the line. You know what I mean? In jest and in joking nature. But everything Deontay Wilder said was right and exact for us boxing purists, for the tradition of boxing. You know, the boxing can go to the future. Boxing can sell off in the future and adjust to the technology and the times of the future and still hold on to the tradition, okay? And the fundamental foundation that made it the wonderful and beautiful sport it is today. Deontay Wilder said one wonderful thing. Uh, I've been listening to the fans. And it's not just the fans, it's also content creators and so on. Legends, legendary fighters that are alive today that spoke against it. Um, commentators, trainers, everything. So Deontay Wilder made a wise comment on this. Um, hopefully, he stands by what he said today, okay, and refuse it. But if he don't, okay, well, you know what I mean? I guess if he doesn't, and then Tyson Fury has been updated or mandated as now the number one mandatory above Dylan White. So I guess if he goes up to franchise, Tyson Fury then, who's under top rank, becomes the WBC regular champion. But that's another video. But on the, that Deontay Wilder's decision and his comment, um, peace and pugilism to you, brother. Um, Myra Magnus, Boxing Logics United, the NBBC have no issue with 
playing it down the middle. I've been critical of you in the past, but right now I say I commend you, okay, for your bravery on your comment. Hope you stand by this, okay? And um, it was a wonderful thing to say what you said, truthful thing, and um, from the boxing peers of the world, traditionalists, those who love the sport, but still have no problem with adjusting the sport for future, for the future to come, we would like to say thank you. All right, sir. Have a wonderful, wonderful life, wonderful career. I'll be talking about you more in the future, positive or negative. And um, I'd like to say thank you, man. You made a great comment. We appreciate it. All right. And uh, even if you do say in the future time, take the franchise champion, that's what it is. But as of right now, salute. Peace and pugilism from Boxing Logics United, the peers of the world, NBBC, one love.